This is Ryan at Cincy Life Community News. It is January 27, 2013, and I just want to give an update about Bitcoin, the Bitcoin daemon, daemon for Linux uh, that allows you to operate services and payment gateways and other things, uh, pay, you know, Bitcoin wallets and other such things on a website and you will need a Bitcoin daemon either hosted remotely or locally to run your service. Now I've decided to set up a test server and uh, just set up this um, uh, Bitcoin daemon uh, very easily. Uh, I, I've already done this process because I wanted to get to the updating part for you and show you that. Uh, basically to install the 3 point whatever version, I think it's like 3.6 or whatever of Bitcoin. It's the older version anyway. But um, you can do it like this and you can upgrade later uh, doing it uh, manually or you can just do the manual install of Bitcoin uh, and you can find that at bitcoin.org how to do that. Um, you can also get it at GitHub and SourceForge and so on and so forth but there's instructions that come with the Bitcoin daemon, daemon and you can follow those instructions and it'll get you to this point which is the point that I wanted to get to uh, for you I wanted to show you basically if you try to run a Bitcoin command and so let's just do Bit Bitcoin help I might need to re-log in actually oh yeah that's it right there Okay, if we do Bitcoin help, and so if we do Bitcoin uh, git info, for example, and this gives you all the commands. You can learn a lot about Bitcoin just by going to the help of it. Um, so for example if I do get info it's going to give me a lock error it's going to say see uh, obtain uh, cannot obtain a lock on data directory uh, Bitcoin is probably already running which is basically I mean you you should be able to get this if Bitcoin is running but while it's updating the block set information or the block index um, like it's doing right now that you can't do anything and you can find a representation here in the files um, by finding this dot lock file and that's just basically you know stopping the um, updating process I mean the uh, uh, function processing of using Bitcoin you can't run commands against it until this is done and the lock file is no longer um, and that will go away as soon as everything's updated. Uh, then, as far as uh, backing up things, uh, when you've got it all updated, um, you know you want to be, be secure that your transactions are safe and that your addresses remain with you. Um, you can also export your addresses and and save them on a file and uh, things like that. But you you'll want to back these files up, especially wallet.dat, uh, address.dat. Bitcoin config is not all that important. Uh, these DB files are not all that important. Uh, this can be recreated, this bitcoin.conf. Uh, you know, you, you would need to reset up your password and such, but I recommend just backing this up. Um, it's not critical, but it is uh, something that you may want to retain for, you know, just for uh, the sake of continuity, uh, anything you might have attached to this Bitcoin daemon. Um, and these database files will be reproduced after the uh, wallet's recreated. So, you know, in order to, to fix it, you know, you can restore all of these files or you can just take the important ones, reinstall the wallet, and then swap the wallet and the address.dat files out. Uh, and the bit, uh, Bitcoin conf, dot conf file as well, if you'd like. Um, but you'll see right here, see the size of this blk0001.dat. Now, when this is all said and done, you're going to find multiple of these. It'll be BLK0001, 0002, and so on. Um, but they're going to continuously climb in size, uh, even after they're done updating for their first initial catch-up. But they will continue to get blocks added to this list. And there will be temporary 
moments where it's uh, un unavailable while it's updating uh, shouldn't be much of a gap uh, just because it does have to lock this and finish the process so right now it, you know I just you've seen it go up just a little bit it's at 423,000 bytes it'll continue to go up Let, let's see what that represents 403 megs can't do that math in my head to, uh, to <laughs> Uh, get it to that point, but um, 423 is it still going up? Yeah, see it, it continues to rise. It's probably it. oh, it's still 404, but it it'll it'll go up to about five gigabytes worth of data in this folder. Right now it's at 593 megabytes. That's taken several hours to get there, uh, probably three hours to get there. Now we're at 404. So um, that's the thing that you'll find it, it's annoying. And if you stop this process, if you kill the lock file and you start running commands against it, it's likely to corrupt the database or the, the uh, block index. And this file will no longer update if you run commands against it before it's completely done. Um, you know, if you bypass it, or if you reboot your server or something, you know. So it was at 404 before. What are we at? It's still 404. So it it might have stopped. This is kind of what I expect. Sometimes it does time out, and sometimes just running this command will help that process get started again. And then sometimes um, it will even lag a little bit. I think that's what it's doing now. Oh nope, it cannot be run. Okay, let's see if this is updated anymore. So it was 404, maybe it's there. Probably 405 now, yeah. So now it's going again. So sometimes you'll have to start it up again. Um, you know, sometimes it's just too much and you exhaust some of your system resources and then you have to fire up the daemon again to get it updating your blocks uh, so that it gets up to that end result which at current it's about five gigs worth of data and see it keeps going up yeah we just got up to 595 on this folder uh, 406 on this file so it's it's continuously rising and it'll take a couple of days sometimes to get that done uh, but don't interrupt it. it it might be annoying that you can't run commands against it uh, but don't don't get frustrated and bypass it and reinstall that's something that I made the mistake of doing a few times so I have learned the error of my ways. Um, I also recommend doing the manual install and not the repository install. Uh, you'll get the latest version that way and you'll want the latest version for security updates. Make sure you always have a good backup. Uh, a lot of people use rsync in a separate server and synchronize that data so it's kept on two different locations. Um, I recommend something like that or even Google Drive, uh, something like that should work fine. Um, it's right at that 5 gig mark, so you may go over that. So you may just want to select a few files, like I was saying, not all of the uh, .dat files, not the, the uh, blk0001.dat or any of those. Um, I would just get those four files that I pointed out earlier, and you should be okay. Um, and uh, the, you know the backup shouldn't have a problem. So anyway, if you have any questions, please respond. Thanks for checking out CincyLife.com.